YouTube with Papa Man. It's your boy K Bull. We back with another kind of football reaction. Week nine of the season. Now we got Oregon, Utah. I thought this was gonna be the best game in college football, in my opinion. Two big time Pac-12 teams, two good football teams, but man, this game was one-sided. So we're gonna dive into these highlights because I watched like a quarter of this game, didn't really get too deep into it, but I saw that final score in Utah. Damn, I'm shocked. So let's go ahead and react, man. Y'all hit that subscribe button for me, man. Tap into all the other content on the channel, man. And let's do it. Let's catch a vibe, man. Y'all know what we do over here, man. Let's get it. Show me some bold niggas. Heard you did your thing again. I ain't surprised. Ugh. Okay, Troy Franklin. One of the top receivers in kind of football. Okay, get the bucket. Get the bucket. I know who that is. Get the bucket. Bucket gonna tow. Bo Nicks touchdown. That man having a Heisman campaign type of season, bro. And if you don't agree, you just you just hate him, bro. Bo Nicks is playing great football for Oregon, bro. He's been efficient. You know, he's putting his team in positions to win week in, week out. Straight up. Y'all can say about him being a little older, but at the end of the day, he's mature. But he he show, he's still playing football. He's still showing up and playing every Saturday, bro. I like what Bo Nix is doing. Mm, nice pivot route. Nice pivot route. Okay. Here we go, four for one. Oh, you get nothing. Oh, you get nothing. He didn't get that. Y'all know he didn't get that. He didn't get that. What are we talking about? Oregon football, baby. Here we go. Okay. He fumbled. He ain't fumbled. He ain't fumbled. Damn, he just took the ball from Bucky, didn't he? Damn. Big Samoan just took the ball from his ass. You trying to do nothing with the football. They got good field, field position, didn't do nothing with it. I ain't going to lie, Utah. I can honestly say, looking at y'all throughout the season up until this point, y'all have looked damn good defensively. I'm going to get at to y'all. Defensively, I think y'all one of the tops in college football. I like I like just y'all swagger. Y'all play with that grit on that side of the ball, as you should to be a championship caliber team. Well, I think Utah kind of got the short end of the stick this year, and I feel bad for them because they're a good team. It's the fact that offensively, at times, you look very stagnant, like you come move the football, and that's due to you not having your guy, Cam Rising. Let's just be real. I honestly believe that if Cam Rising was on this ball club, this Utah team would be, they'll arguably be in that top, I'd say top five to top six. I don't think Utah would have lost a game this year if they had Cam Rising. Cam Rising makes this team look totally different. If you don't know who Cam Rising is, go look at Utah last year or, or over the past two years and see that number seven with that damn mullet playing that quarterback. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna give y'all the benefit of the doubt, Utah. I ain't gonna do y'all too long because I know what's really going on. You know, I know what's really going on. But y'all got y'all ass whooped though still though. I ain't gonna, it just it is what it is, touchdown. I still ain't expect y'all to get, get your bell run like this, though. Damn. At home? I can see if you went on the road to Oregon, but this was kind of an ass whooping on Utah. Nobody checked the running back. Nobody took the running back. Easy. That's too easy. Here we go. He threw it right to him. See what I'm saying? Inconsistent quarterback play that I think can rise. And can rise on what he did that. Cam Rising would have did that. I don't think Cam Rising would have did that. Mmm, nice. Nice, boo. Y'all saw the way he did that. Okay, then, 10. Mmm, nice. Damn, Utah. Here's Barnes again to throw. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. I like them helmets Utah got on too. Them nice. 
Okay. 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 See, you know what I'm saying? See that Utah, you can't get inside the 15, inside the 10 and settle for field goals against Oregon. You got to score. You at home. You got to use that momentum. Y'all getting field goals, Oregon scoring that motherfucker. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? Oregon is balanced, bro. They can run. They can throw. Bo Nix is commanding this offense. Bo Nix looks like the general for this team, bro. Okay, Bucky, you ain't catching Bucky. That touchdown. I like Bucky, man. I like Bucky. He run hard. He not he at a at a at a smaller size. He not easy to bring down one on one. Bucky break off a lot of tackles. He breaks a lot of tackles, and it's crazy because of his size, bro. Come on, Utah, get something going. Okay, special team, what we got? Okay, little throwback. Come on, come on, set it up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on in. Come on, come on, come on. That's still can't get no momentum off of it, though. Let me see. Let's see here. What he gonna do with it? See what I'm saying? Terrible. Terrible. What happened to 13? What happened to the other quarterback that I saw Utah playing earlier? What happened to him? Mm. Yeah, Utah, y'all missing Cam Rising, but I ain't lying. That's a bad throw. Y'all missing, um, y'all missing your boy Cam Rising. Bucky going crazy. Look at Bucky, man. Look at him. Look at him. Put it on. Uh. Touchdown. Shh. Boy, 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 I tell you, boy. Utah, I did not expect this. Win, lose, or draw. I didn't I didn't think the loser of this game. I thought this game was going to come down to maybe the last quarter. I thought at worst, whoever lost this game, it would have probably been by 10. I thought it would have been a one possession game most of you know, most of the game, because this was a big game. I thought this was the best game of the day, in my opinion. But damn, Utah, y'all look, y'all just ain't just ain't had nothing clicking today. Y'all ain't had nothing clicking in this game. It's crazy. Blitz, I saw it. Damn. This was a ass whooping, though. 35 to 6. And to be honest, Oregon really could have put up more points on, on Utah if they really wanted to, in my opinion. So, man, Oregon, that's a damn good football team. I'm excited to see how they continue to finish throughout this last month of the season. We about to get ready to hit. Because y'all do know we're going into that straight run, man. We in week nine. So, we got about three, four more weeks, a good college football game before we start getting into the championship weekend and we talking college football playoff and all that. So I'm watching Oregon very closely down the stretch, man. But shout out to y'all for tapping into another video, man. I appreciate y'all very much. Y'all hit that like button for me. Y'all leave a comment. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Y'all do all that good stuff. I really, really appreciate y'all, man. And we're going to see y'all in the next video. Until next time, we out, baby.